for today's recipe, we have a few key ingredients. The main ingredient, uh, I'm just kidding. We're making a crackle finish. You might can tell by this beautiful, fancy container of crackle medium I have. It's not paint, I don't think. I'm not really sure what it is. I've seen people use with glue, like Elmer's glue, but I'm going to use this stuff and we'll see how it works. It should crackle. It kind of says it will, so I believe it. Let's go. All right, so I have my... Wow, this thing's really long. There we go. Hold it way out here. This thing is long. Anyway, we're going to take this. I went ahead and based this a nice, beautiful pepper color. I couldn't decide I want to do like black or a darker purple or a dark navy blue. But I just put a quick one ch -ch 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 coverage on it. Doesn't have to be crazy. It's just going to be just what you see through the cracks. So now, next step is just, I try to read directions and it just says paint it on, let it dry. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to paint it on and let it dry. And then we'll put white over it. But we'll get to that. Let's go. Hey, stop getting ahead of me. Just go one step at a time, man. Don't be crazy. I'll crack you over the head. Crack. Get it? Okay, anyway. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it or not. It doesn't say to shake. So... Okay. Dip, dip, brush. I don't know how much you're supposed to put. I don't know if you put a lot or a little. Let's just put some. I don't know. Put a bunch. I like to uh, over exaggerate. I'm sticking to my cup, to my brush. Let's not go over the edge. Why? Why not? Who cares? Listen, just paint it on. If it wanted you to be specific, it would have gave it in the instructions. I mean, instructions. Anyway, I'm just going to brush this on and then. I'm going to go do something else and let this dry. Probably do some laundry. I don't know. What are you going to do while you wait for my cup to dry? Oh, it'll only be like a second and a half for you. So let's go. We'll be right back. Like it literally gives no instructions about technique or anything. So what I did, I just went in one direction. You see what I did there? I went thick in some places, thin in some others. I might should have tested it out first, but that's not what we do here. We just go at it. Just go at it. Be free. And let the art be what it's going to be. Oh. All right, let's go. Alrighty then. For this next step, this is completely dry. You can actually touch it. Like, I kind of forgot about it and left it for two days. So we'll see if it still works. I'm pretty sure it will. If you're watching this, it does so I mounted it on my turner so I could be hands free and I'm going to use regular acrylic paint, dab and just pull. Don't pull too much because you'll mess up the effect. I don't know. It, it, it makes it like pull and run off. So I'm going to do a pull, turn, you know, you, you, you'll get it. You just, just watch. I'm not going to glob it on too crazy. I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm trying to just do it very minimal, minimally. I think you got to, I mean, you want to cover it, of course. Brush lightly. Oh, what? You can already see it working. Do you see that? Oh, let me get my hand out of the shadow. Do a little dab, do a little turn. Do a little dance. Make some tumblers tonight. Do, do, do. I should coin that song. That's a beautiful song. Do a little dance, make tumblers tonight. Woo! Anyway, y'all did not come here to hear me sing. You know, I do enjoy singing. I sing all the time. So, I'm doing super, super light touching with this. Just trying to get the coverage. And I'm not being too crazy. Super light. Ooh, look at that turn. So it's happening already. The magic is happening right before your eyes. This is so much easier putting on the turner. And I have a confession to make. Uh, I tried this one time and I, I confess this to you guys because I want to be open and honest to you guys because I know this doesn't always go as planned. But what I'm getting at is, so here, take a, take a quick view at this uh, clip right here. 
Okay, see that clip? I did it one time already, and I laid this white on way too heavy, and I put it upside down, and it ran off, and the good news is, and this is why I'm telling you this, guys, so all I had to do, super simple. I went to the sink and just washed it off. Boom. Put my crackle, crackle dackle back on. Uh, it washed off super easy. I put another layer back on, let it sit. And like I said, I for, kind of forgot about it. I left it for like two days. And as you can see, it works beautifully still. So apparently, you can just let this stuff on here forever and it'll be fine. So, see where I touch too much? Don't do that. Once you get it on and you just barely brush over it a little bit, don't go back over it again. Because it'll kind of pull it away from it. And to keep this from sagging, I'm just going to turn my tumbler, turner, whatever, my resiner. I'm just going to turn it on and let it spin while it finishes. And then we'll be right back. Okay. Look at this, how it did it already. What? It's awesome. All right. Be right back. Oh, hey, hang on. Don't forget the bottom. If you did the bottom. I did. So I'm going to do it right now. We're going to put a few water slides on here. This is clear. I didn't even cut it contour because that's almost impossible. But if you want to see how I do water slide transfers, print them out, put them on, all that good stuff. Click the link in this video, this card right here. Just click that right, right there. You just click it if you want to see it. If you want to see it, click it. Okay, you got it? Okay, good. Drop it in the water. That's crazy how you can't even see the edges where you cut. It's like completely disappeared. But one thing I want to tell you is that I did not resin this. Like you've seen a lot of people do it before. They'll crackle, then the resin. What I did is I took and sprayed four coats of this on. If you want to see how to do this, guess what? <gasps> yeah, you're right. I got a video to show you how to do that right here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to time-lapse, put the rest of these on, and we're just going to go. Okay? Easy, easy, buddy. Easy, easy. Okay. Is it, it'll be okay. Let's go. Whoa! This looks amazing. Now, I dropped a little bit of this glitter while I had it wet and I really like it. So now I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to take this and put it in with my raison. Mix it in when I do that. That just seems like a good idea. I don't know why I've never thought about that before. So let's just see what it looks like. And the next thing you'll see is the reveal. That's my favorite part really. Do you guys like that? I do the music and the trying to time it to the do 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 you know and the fancy camera work that's kind of like my favorite part drop a comment below if you like that and hit that like button and if you guys could help me out I'm trying to hit my next goal is a hundred thousand subscribers so if you could subscribe share this video on your social media platform Facebook Pinterest Reddit Twitter there's probably a bunch more. That's all I can think of right now. But that turned out beautiful. Look, you can't even see the lines. There's no lines. You can't see the lines, can you, Russ? Nope, sure can't, Dad. Let's go. Now we're going to put some of this in there. I'm not really sure how much to put, so uh, let's just put it till you're happy and then move on. Alrighty, here goes nothing. I got my mixture all bling blinged up. I've never done this before, so I feel like it's a great idea and that it'll work great. But we shall see. So let's just wrap this bad boy up, time lapse this, and the reveal. Let's go. Ah! 